Welcome to what's new in Django CMS 3.4, our very first long-term support, or in short, LTS release. I'm Angelo, product manager here at Tivio and one of the Django CMS core developers. In this video, I'll be showcasing to you what's new in the CMS 3.4 release in terms of the user interface. One of the most significant change that we did is in relation to the content preview. In previous releases of Django CMS, we had a content preview that can display depending on what you want to add, like this. In this case, we have a carousel with three slides and they are displayed beneath each other. This is due to the fact that around the plugin, we always add divs, so they are then placed underneath each other. In Django CMS 3.4, we looked for a better solution and this is the result. The gallery now displays correctly. I can go through the gallery items and also double click on each element and it will display accordingly. Another change in relation to the real preview is the real preview inside the text editor itself. So in this case, I have here some text, a little bit more space and then a button. If I would double click to edit this now, you can see one of the newer features is that add-ons that have been added within the plugins that have been added within the CK editor have now a black display if they're not allowed to have any preview. If they're allowed to add a preview, they will actually showcase how it looks like. So if you put that side by side, the button is displayed as it appears on the website. I can also easily just click on the button and edit it and give it another color. Hit OK. And you can see immediately that it switched to green. I can now hit save and you'll see the immediate preview in the content mode. Another feature that we enhanced in Django Siemens 3.4 is the accessibility capabilities. Now you can simply use your keyboard to navigate through the Django CMS toolbar and execute actions from it. For example, I could just simply publish this page now by clicking on the publish button. And in this case, I'm really just using the keyboard. So I can go back to edit mode. And for example, I could switch to structure mode and start editing even the placeholders now. And for that, we introduce new shortcuts, such as, for example, Alt-P to select a placeholder. Through tabbing, you can switch between the placeholder. You can enter a placeholder by pressing Enter. And then you have additional functionalities, such as editing a plugin through E, or you can also choose to add a plugin through plus or A, or, for example, even open the Actions menu. We also allow to collapse and expand elements by simply pressing X, or I can escape again to go to the content mode and expand everything from in here. There are further actions available and you can trigger them by hitting shift question mark, which will open up a shortcuts menu, which will be extending in future releases of Django CMS to allow for even further commands. Another very powerful change that we did in Django CMS is in concern to switching between structure and content mode. In previous versions, you could just hit the space bar and that would switch between content and structure mode. But you always had difficulties finding where the contents can be or the plugins. And for this, you can now hover over a plugin. Let's choose the last slide here and then press shift and hit space. This will then show you which content you're actually editing or trying to edit. I can do that also from this section on, if I would like to know the center slide where that's added. Again, I can just hit shift and then space and it will show me in the structure board. And that works with almost any plugin, which is really helpful to determine the position of where you have to edit it or where you have to drag it around. Another great feature we added is within the page tree. In previous releases, you can still easily copy and paste elements with the user interface on the bar on the right. So here in this case, I copied about, and now I can just paste it into the contact section. But this can be very tedious if you do that a lot of times. So if you want to create a huge page tree and you want to set up all the pages, you would have to always click on the menu and copy and paste. Now you can just drag an item, hold the command button or control button on Windows, and then basically paste it anywhere you want and it will create a copy for you. We also took the liberty to enhance the alias plugin. You still can create an alias plugin by the menu, just hit the button create alias and then inject it to any page. In my case, I want to inject it into the contact page to the very bottom. So here I just click on the element and then paste it in there. Now, this will add the carousel here at the very end, but I have no idea where to edit it. 
The new feature in Django CMS 3.4 allows you to double click the alias plugin and have a preview of where it's actually originating from. If I click here on about, it will then redirect me to the about page where the original alias was created from. We also did optimization within the Aldrin infrastructure. Now, when you create a new project, all the standard add-ons that ship with the Django CMS installer are available to you in a new project. This allows you, for example, to uninstall the link plugin at any time as you wish through the Aldrin user interface. This can be really helpful if you would install, for example, the Aldrin Bootstrap 3 plugin. The Aldrin Bootstrap 3 plugin has already a link and a picture plugin within itself. Previous versions would then display two sets of plugins, an image plugin from Aldrin Bootstrap 3 and the image plugin from Django CMS Picture. Now you can make the user interface a bit more cleaner by deciding which one you would like to add. If you would like to know further about all the changes introduced in Django CMS 3.4, check out the blog post and read on what's all new. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe and share for more videos on our channel. Until next time, bye.